Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for our first ever virtual open day here at West Lothian College. This morning I'm here with Camille from our ESOL team who will run through a short presentation and answer any questions that you've sent in. So over to you Camille, what is it you teach? Hi Scott, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? Hey, I'm fine. Uh, I teach ESOL at the college. My name is Camille Nami. I've been teaching ESOL for a very long time. Maybe this is my 25th year. So my, my hair has gone gray while I'm teaching ESO. Uh, I teach levels three, four, five, basically all the levels. Perfect. Thanks very much, Camille. So we'll just uh, move over to your PowerPoint. Go for it. Okay. I think the fact that you are here means you are interested in our ESO courses. We offer National 3 at West Loading College, National 4 and National 5 units. And traditionally, these are known as pre-intermediate, intermediate and upper intermediate. We have them as part-time and full-time courses. Uh, we have different levels. And the courses are dif divided into different levels to show and indicate how fluent a non-native speaker is. So the courses go really in ESO from ESO literacies or beginner to advanced. And most organization ask, organizations ask for a, a minimum entry criteria, which is ESO 5 in order to be allowed into a mainstream course. So it's like a ladder, basically. The level spells tell us where you are. We do a small test and it tells us where you are. Uh, if you are a beginner, you go, we send, we refer you to the community. If you are at an elementary level, we refer you to the community. If you are at literacy level, we refer you to the community. If you are at national three, four or five level, we offer you a place at the college. Now, our part-time courses are available in the morning at 9 a.m. or in the afternoon 1 p.m. or in the evening at 6 p.m. Learners attend one class and they stick to that class all year. They run normally from uh, August till June, three hours a week. And we have also some classes which start in January. Now, full-time, we have a full-time course and that allows to do national four and five in the same year. So it saves a lot of time. And if you're studying full-time, you're at the college either four mornings per week or four afternoons per week. Uh, you're expected to do a lot of studying on your own because you are doing two levels in this course uh, in one year. So it's a very intensive course. In fact, all the ESO courses are intensive ones because you can imagine how long it takes to learn a language. Like if you think how, your own language, how many years did it take you to learn it? And we are trying to do this in a very short time. Uh, for the full-time students, if they choose to study full-time, we agree with them a time that suits them at interview stage. So either four mornings per week at the college or four afternoons per week at the college. But as I said, you have to do a lot of studying on your own. Now, number of students in classes, we have 20 to four, uh, 24 students in each class. Classes become full very quickly. So really, if you need a place, you need to apply quickly because so many students become like maybe don't get a chance. They come and then they have to wait till the year after or till January because normally it's very busy. Now, a normal day at the college, looks like this. We do a lot of reading exercises, writing, drafting, redrafting, listening, and this could be listening to native speakers in real life situations, watching videos, and then followed by exercises. Speaking, you will have to speak. We may give you a scenario. You may have to do a role play. Then we will record you to put you under pressure. And then we will correct your mistakes. Then we'll try to do it again. And the speaking is timed. A lot of grammar, and so many students love grammar. Lots of vocabulary, 
uh, critical thinking and discussion. We work in pairs, in groups, sometimes individual work, sometimes the whole class together, sometimes you are working online, sometimes you have to go to the library and all of this, uh, like we follow it by a lot of homework and students in part-time and full-time have homework every week. Now, to prepare for the course, we don't ask you normally, we don't give a reading list out, but we encourage people to read in English. Any books, newspapers, it doesn't matter which topics, it's the topics which interest you. And normally the best reading you do is like, maybe you should think of the area that you're going for after. If you're going for a course after, or you're going for a, field of an employment, maybe you should read about that area because that's the language and every subject has got its own jargon and vocabulary. Now, the main aims of the ESOL courses at the college, normally these courses help people to move forward in life. And it get, they get people into employment, into work, they get promotions at work if they are already working. Uh, these courses help people to join further and higher education courses. Like we have students who've been to universities and who have done HNCs, HNDs, and have moved on and opened their own businesses and have really done very well. Also, the ESOL courses help in integration. You know, nobody can afford to live on their own and if people have moved from one country to another it means they have to know how things run in this country we are in scotland it's a different culture how do things run here the way things work so which is very important for people to get these skills equality it means uh, ESOL students are not left for people from minorities are not left on the side. They become part of the college, they move on with every other student, they mix with everybody and they move on and they have the same opportunity like everybody. So it's essential. Uh, we also give learners a voice instead of learners having to, like if they have limited English, having to depend on interpreters or translators or on a family member to explain for them or to help them all the time. They can do it themselves and of course with this comes a lot of confidence so all these are the aims for of the ESOL courses at the college now all non-native speakers of English are welcome to apply you don't have to be of a certain level to apply you apply we interview you you sit an initial assessment with us we check your reading writing listening and this is not a test to pass you or fail you this is like going to the doctor to see where you are, and then we will offer you a class that suits you at the right level. We don't want to put you in a class where things are too difficult or too easy. And this is not to say, uh, yes, you can have a place or not. If you can't study with us, we refer you to a partner organization like the West Clothing Council, where you can study with them for a year or two and then come back to us if you are below level three. Now, costs of the course. We have national three, national four and five. National three is 250 pounds, national four, 300 pounds, and national five, 350 pounds for the whole year. Students or learners can apply for an ITA or an individual training account, which pays about 200 pounds towards the fees of the course. And people who came to do this course said it was the best thing they have done. Like, I remember one student telling me uh, who used to work at a bakery, and after two or three years, I saw them walking in the college, and they said, they said, you know, this is the best thing I have done, because if I haven't done this course, I would still have been working at the bakery now. And they moved on with their HNC, HND, and into work. Some people, or one student, for example, was offered three different places at three different universities and then they chose a place and they did their master's degree so they, they started with us at the college with national three national four national five ESO, and then went to uh, heriot Watt university and they graduated with a master's in finance and so many other students like have 
come into nursing or university or other mainstream courses at the college. Maybe there isn't a department in the college that doesn't have an ex ESO student. So destination is employment, further and higher education, moving forward in life really on all fronts because ESO students normally, like you, are clever and have got many skills, but because they are using a different language here, it becomes difficult for them. So we try to uh, help in, uh, so that they master the language in order to be able to compete in the job market. Thank you for your interest in the ESOL courses at West Lothian College. Thanks, Camille. Um, that was really interesting uh, and especially Thank great you. to hear uh, of the, the progression routes for students studying ESOL at the college. So it covers all the questions we've had sent in to us today. Uh, but the one question I'd like to ask is, what advice would you give to anyone considering studying ESOL at West Lothian College? Uh, I think my best advice that I can give is that students should, if they are here and they want to learn the language, the earlier they do it, the better. You know, because at the end, you could be here 20 years and it's not the number of years that you are here. The number of years in the country doesn't teach anybody the language to read and write. You, they need language here. They are, people are not tourists here. They need to be able to function in the language. They need to be able to compete in the job market. So the earlier they do it, the better. And the earlier they reap the benefits. Perfect. Yeah, that's, that's great advice there, Camille. Um, so yeah, thanks very much for that. You're very um, welcome. Thank you. Perfect. And thanks everyone else for, for tuning in for our first ever virtual open day um, with Camille from our, our ESOL class. Um, so yes, if you have any further questions, please do email us at marketing at west uk or message us on social media. We'll happily answer any questions. Um, but we encourage you to get in your application for part-time and full-time courses as soon as possible, as Camille was saying. So thank you very much, everyone, for your time, and we shall see you all soon. Thank you.